So, the Therefore, the area of the triangle is half of 30, which is equal to 15 square units. Let's look back at the three examples. Now we know that the area of the triangle is half the area of its related rectangle.
Okay. So, from just now to now, I repeat one more time. Point number one. For all areas of triangle, I must remember the formula. Not the base and type. Number two, I need to identify base and type correctly. Number three, base and type is related by the property of perpendicularity. So you see that the base and type is always perpendicular to each other. Find the right angle. Next key, base of the triangle is always one type of triangle, depending on where you are getting it to sit and start off. Okay, the height depends on where the head is. The apex where it's sitting on its buttock, you can almost see a segment here, right here, and then right here. And then sometimes the height may be outside the triangle. Okay, more examples here. Last week we stopped here. Okay, the last thing is that we need to be comfortable with turning the people around. So this one here, if I were to choose the base as here, as saying that it's sitting on its part here, then the base will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven units. And then the height here will be look for perpendicular lines that touches the head to its bottom. So the apex of the triangle is it's upright, all the way down, meeting the base of the triangle, forming a right angle. This is the height. So in this case, it's three units. So the area will be half times seven times three. It's half and twenty one. It'll be ten point five or ten and a half. Because three, seven times three is twenty one. So twenty one divided by two is ten and a half. Okay. Okay. Then this one here. Again, I said, I think I need to be comfortable turning the paper around. The easiest way is to find, see where I can flip, touch that the triangle is sitting comfortably on a side, and then I can find a right angle into the inside here. This is a straight line. Yeah, but not just a straight line. The, all the, if you're saying it's a straight line, all triangles are straight lines. The, the sides are straight lines. Then which one do I choose? Yeah, so you, you, you don't just need to look for a, the, a straight line. You also need to see whether it's easy to find a right angle with height. Whether I can find the head and the bottom. The matching head to the matching bottom. Okay, so in this case here, this triangle, all three sides are straight. But if I want to choose this as the bottom, it's difficult to find a height. If I want to choose this as the bottom, it's difficult to find a height. So I want to turn it to a way that it's easy to find a height because of the right angle. Which in this case, I'll choose this two. This particular base, which here from here I can see easily, the base is one, two, three, four, five, six, six units, and the height one, two, three, four, five, six, also six units. Yeah, I'm doing upside down purposely. Can you understand why am I doing this upside down? Yeah, yeah, so that you can see the height, and, height and base better. But of course, when I turn it around, I got to write it properly. You be careful, if you turn it around, you see, you write line, you then you go for it. Okay, so I'm going to write it again. So the base is six units, the height is six units. 
So the area will be half times six times six, which is I can cancel already. Three times six is eighty square units. Is this okay? Now I want to do a harder question. These are all, I would say, simpler questions. Because most of the height are inside the triangle. It's just different orientation. So earlier on, I did hear some of them, some of you saying that this worksheet is very hard to do. Actually, this one is an easier one. Already. Yeah, because the, the units, okay, maybe the hard part is that some of them divide is not, you get a decimal, you get a fraction. Okay. This is a slightly harder part. But otherwise, in terms of the shape, they are all quite friendly triangles because you can flip and you can find the base and height quite easily. And then there's a square grid to help you. So I can see the base here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight units. The height, one, two, three, four, five, five units. So I turn it around. The area will be half times eight times five. I can simplify this answer is 20 square units. So these are questions I would say is relatively, considerably easy. Now, if you take out the worksheet that we were, that you had previously, you realize that the, to identify the height and base is not that easy. Okay? Especially without the square grid. Okay? That, I'm switching already. I'm uh, looking at the worksheet, page 170. Let's pay attention. Good. Okay, now with this, I pause here. I'm going to skip to the other side of the sheet. I'll come back here again. There's this part here that's quite interesting. This last page here, called Triangle Salt, actually is quite an interesting activity because you don't need to calculate the area. Okay? Then how are you going to solve these different triangles? Right? Okay. We'll come back to this later. I'm going to pause here and skip to the worksheet. Now, the workbook worksheets. I just gave out another set of worksheets that looks like this. Okay? I'm going to jump in between the worksheets right now and tell you your homework. Is anybody missing out the worksheet? We are looking at this page here. I have one that is meaningless here. Any owners? Okay, so I'm on page 117 now. I repeat some of the things. Number one, area is half times base times height. Number two, I need to find the base and height. Base is related to height by right angle.
three, face the buttock is always one side of the triangle. Four, height may be outside the triangle. So these are the four points that you hear me repeat, I think four times already. Maybe, okay, the height may be outside the triangle. Okay, now looking at this, just nice. I will you find the base or the height or key shaded triangle. Uh, at this point, it's very important because at the back, right, there are shapes where it's, you need to tell the difference between shaded and unshaded. Sometimes the, sometimes, yeah, hold on, uh, sometimes the test question may ask you to find the unshaded part. So you really need to be careful. This is a shaded triangle. So you must find either the base or the height. So first of all, this question is the base given, is given as BC. The base is the buttock is always one side of the triangle. The height is the right angle. I can take my set square, point out the right angle, you okay, the height is here. May or may be inside the triangle, may be outside the triangle. The height here is AC. Are you looking at that worksheet? You don't seem to have the worksheet on the table. This was a previous worksheet. This is page 170. You have the worksheet already inside of you. This is the previous set, the introductory set. Okay? So for this one, this one, the height is given. So the base of the triangle, remember, is always one side of the triangle. This is the base, the buttock. So the buttock here is GE. Which means I can actually really draw a head here and then the butt here. Okay, and then the head here. Now, then comes the challenging ones. The challenging one is that the height may not always be inside the triangle. It may sometimes be outside the triangle. What do I mean? For example, this one, this is an example. It shows you that the height is outside the triangle, this is the one. So I, I turn this around. I set this triangle upright. This is question B. This is the height. Actually, the buttock is here. It's on the triangle, KN. It does, it's not all the way to M, it's only to N. Only to N. The buttock is not outside the triangle. Yes, Adrian. This is a previous worksheet. A set that was given up a week, two, two weeks ago. On Monday, actually. Yeah, it was this piece. Page 115, 116 was work, classwork and homework last week. Remember, we did this in the first activity on Monday, last Monday. Yeah, this is the worksheet. Okay, so back here. So the answer was this, A, N. Actually, the challenge really is seeing that this is the height. It is outside the triangle. But the buttock here, it does not extend outside the triangle. It stays at the side of the triangle. Then, for example, this one here, this is C. From C, I continue to turn my book. Turn, 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 until I see the buttock here. So the base here, the base here is this one. The height actually is here. Nothing to do with the ones here, it's just here. So for this one, it's actually MK or KM.
Now, this software and try out. I want to see the colors. If you do not have a highlighter, please use a color pencil. So mark out the base and height. This is page 170. No need to do 180, just 170. Now I just gave out a worksheet. This one here, page 190, to page 190 as well. Try it out. This looks just exactly like the one that I gave you earlier on. See? Yes? Okay. Then tomorrow we'll move on to look at more complex triangles like this one here, where the height can fall outside the triangle. Just 119 and 170. Okay? Okay? Yes? 117 and 119. I like to see the colors that you mark out base and height. Is that okay? Okay, you can pack out your bags. So much waiting for you. Those of you who are staying back for a video, you can leave your things here. 